Blackburn and we are the directors of Neverland Theatre and we are so proud and excited to present to you this evening the Show Must Go On Summer Variety Show. So over five weeks we've had over 50 8 to 18 year olds participate in this sort of virtual theatrical experiment and we are incredibly pr proud of the talent and just incredible work these kids have put in to make this virtual thing happen. They have done an amazing job and we cannot wait for you to see it, but we also have to thank a few more people. First and foremost, Leah Mescame and Jake Doms. They both are five high school students and they handled all of the audio engineering and mixing for all of the musical numbers you're about to hear, which is just outstanding. Uh, Liam also handled some of the video editing for a few of the musical numbers. Jake created the overture and procured sheet music. They both were just instrumental in making this production happen in the way that we wanted it to happen and so we could not have done it without them. We also want to thank every single parent at home and our parent volunteers that have just helped get their kids onto Zoom rehearsals and send in audio and video recordings. We couldn't have done it without you, so thank you. We want to let you know that we are not accepting tickets for this production, but if you go to NeverlandTheater.com, 100% of the donations that you send in will be given to the Jennifer's Place Foundation, which is a foundation that raises funds for community arts programs, and they're very near and dear to our hearts, so we would so appreciate your donations to that wonderful cause. And last but not least, we just want to say that at a time in our world and in our country where theater and live entertainment of all sorts is shut down and theaters are dark, um, it was beyond inspiring for us every week to see these kids pull together, have amazing energy with their singing, dancing, and acting. It was just wonderful, and it showed us more than ever that the show must go on. <laughs> so, here we go. Get your popcorn ready. And you in the recliner, silence your cell phone. Silence it. No texting. Mm -hmm. And enjoy, enjoy the show. show.
wait. Why, one think, and you've dragged me right onto the stage. Now I'm here, there is no telling what may ensue. With, With a, a cat, cat such, such as me, and, and a, a thinker, thinker like, like you. you. Oh, the things you can think, oh, the things you can think, if you're willing to try. Think invisible ink, or a gink with a stink, or a stare to the sky. If you open your mind, oh, the things you will find, lining up together. Oh, the things you can think, when you think about Zeus. 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 Zeus, 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 Zeus. volume is way too high at the lunch tables. We are in a yellow level warning. You have been warned. Yellow warning? It's us she's talking about. I just know it. What if she yells at us? I hate being yelled at. Easy worry. We are never the problem. Speak for your self-confidence. Maybe Megan's the problem. But we are Megan, we're all Megan. That is how a brain works. Each of us plays a part in Megan. I am really scared. If one of us messes up, we all are going to get it. Are we at least the same volume as everybody else? I would hate to be quieter or louder. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really blue about all of this. 
I don't like a little noise in the lunchroom. It makes me feel that I'm a part of a team. You all are making really good points. No, this has to stop. Miss Finnegan said clearly that the volume at the lunch tables was too high. It is clear that Megan is not the problem, at least not the only problem. Now, it's time to eat our lunch and gather our strength for the afternoon of middle school. Okay. <gasps> Fine. Fine. Peanut butter and jelly, my favorite. I love that sweet slash salty combination. Usually, make usually make and mix an egg or tuna salad sandwich, but this is so much better. Megan does make a delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich at home. I would even say she's the very best at it. She knows the perfect balance between the peanut butter and jelly. Go, Megan. Does anyone else in the lunchroom have peanut butter and jelly? Is it too babyish to have during middle school? Wait a minute, something looks wrong here. Nothing is wrong, it's just a sandwich. Well, he's right, we're not allowed to have peanuts in the lunchroom. We are going to kill someone. I don't know who, but someone. Darn it, Megan, what did you do? Oh no, I really like someone. It will be so sad to see someone grow. <laughs> oh no, Mrs. Finnegan is over here. She's going to see our peanut butter sandwich and send us to detention for killing someone. I really like your shoes. Do you think they look good on me? You deserve those shoes appearance. They were made for you. Knock it off, she's here. Good morning, Miss Megan. Seems like you packed a beautiful lunch there. Of course, there was no problem. No peanuts or peanut butter. That was the rule in elementary school. We can have peanut products in middle school. We should have remembered that. You should have remembered that. I should have remembered that. Why am I always so sad? We'll remember the next time. I am sure of it. It's coming. I just know it. Miss Finnegan's about to say it. It's going to be orange. The dreaded orange. Middle schoolers, we are now at an orange level warning. You have been warned. Again. Be cool, everyone. Be cool. Don't uh, draw attention to Megan. I like eating in. The, I like eating quiet too. Happiness is right. If we all just stay calm and be part of the quiet rather than part of the noise, we'll never reach red level. Oh no. What now? It's Abby. <laughs> She's coming our way. Hey Megan, nice glasses. Did your mom help you pick them out? Seriously, they're so pretty. I should make an answer. There is no good answer. Yeah, if Megan says her mom did help her pick them out, so she'll death. If she says that she picked them out herself and Abby doesn't like them, so she'll death. This is a lose-lose situation. But they are cute. There's nothing to worry about. I'm already freaked out enough. Don't bring me into this. Don't other girls have these friends? Make them thought. These because other girls have them too. If other girls have these frames, then why is Megan asking us? You chose these frames, appearance. You need to come up with an answer for Megan. You just find one here. Are the glasses fun? What if I make Megan just start crying? Will Abby go away if I do that? There's no reason to cry, Sadness. We love these glasses. I'm sure Abby loves them too, and just wants to know where she can buy a pair. Let's just tell her where we bought them. That's what she wants, 
right? I'm not so sure. I don't like the tone of her question. We are losing track of her question. She just wants to know if Megan's mom helped her pick them out. Four. Let's have Megan answer no, then we can go right back to eating. No, she oh, didn't, Abby. Abby. It worked! She walked away! Of course it worked! Juice box! Oh my gosh! Jack's is handing this way. He's looking right at Megan. Of course he is! She is amazing! I love Jack! He's so cute! I hope Jack asks me to go paintballing with him. You hate paintballing, pleaser. I'm sure I would love it with him. I have a bad feeling again. Why would Jax want to talk with me? It's a trap! I'm sure it's a trap! I bet Abby just sent him over to mess with us. He's always, she's always doing that. Oh no, I'm going to start crying again. Not the water work, Sadness. He's here! Hey, Megan. Hey, Jack. I wanted to let you know that I'm having a paintballing party this Saturday. I was hoping you could come and be on my team. I mean, if you have nothing else going on. Alert! Alert! Private paintball to go! This is awful! Making him paintball! What if Megan falls while playing? What if she doesn't? Happiness is right! Megan has great balance. She's got this! I bet she takes everyone out and wins the entire game. Bada boom, Jax will love that. Megan should just say yes. Leisure, you're going to ruin this. Everybody calm down. We need to think this through. Is he asking just to be nice? Is he asking because he's asking everybody in the lunchroom? Is he asking because Abby dared him to ask Megan just so he can make fun of her? We need to know. You're starting to sound like oh me. My God. Oh no, we're losing the logic. This is awful. Stop. Megan can do this. Enough with fear, blame, worry, sadness, pleasing, and dodging. Happiness, I believe in Megan. She's a great girl. Jax is a good guy. Bex is genuine, and Megan will have a great time at the paintball party. I feel so good inside. I think we should give Jax an answer that lets him know we really want to go. Okay, Happiness, you lead this one. We would love to go. We? Uh, okay, I guess you could bring a friend. See you there, Megan. We <laughs> I told you it would work. Way to go, happiness. What? No blame. I said blaming happiness for doing something good. I, I, I don't feel like crying. This is a new feeling. I feel nothing. Me too. Except, does anyone else notice that everyone else in the lunchroom is staring at us? Looking at us? We can't have them looking at us. Only the good kids get looked at. Oh no, something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. That good feeling is gone now. We are fine. What could Happy. Miss Megan, did you not hear we were on an orange level warning for noise in the classroom? No, no I, I heard, heard ma'am. Ma so, Miss Megan, if you heard my warnings, why on earth did you scream out into the cafeteria? Because I was happy. Well, little Missy, you'll be spending your after school with me in detention. 
make sure to bring your brain and your muscle. I have an essay for you to write in some erasers that need cleaning. Way to go, team. Actually, it could be worse. <laughs> it was all worth it. Will you at least let me cry when I call mom and tell her that Megan has to stay after school? Sure, Sadness. That would be the perfect time to cry. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, maybe the cool kids in detention will think we're cool now, too. Bonus for us. We've got this essay writing. We rock at that! Yeah, but did you hear what she said about banging those erasers? Oh, no, not him! Did I hear muscle was needed? I'm here to stay dead. Cleaning erasers is sort of Megan's specialty. I've been training my whole life with this. Well, at least we're not alone. Looking good, Muscle. I know. right here. His name's Paul Revere. There's a guy that says the weather's clear. Can do, can do. This guy says the horse can do. If he says the horse can do, can do, can do. I'm can do. Valentine, cause can in the morning do. line, the this guy got says him the horse big can do. by tonight. Well, look at says the horse can do. 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 Can do.
Has all the pens been rain last night? I'm like Valentine's Night Club looks fine Besides this Rodney's brother's like friend of mine And just a great mean voice I got some great box noise It's like the great grandfather was great I tell you Paul has the horse shows great from steers This guy says the horse shows great I'm taking Valentine's Day on the morning line The guy's got him figured out at five to nine So look at him and tap you can't buy a half a coin The guy says the horse says great yeah. Have a time. Of the year, I, I got, got the horse right here. Can we go home now? Why would you want to go home? We've been walking all of five minutes. That's why. Surely you can walk for more than five minutes, baby bear. Yeah, man up. Bear up, we're bear. Don't be a wise guy. This is lame. Hey, never say that. Don't you know lameness is a sign of extreme vulnerability in a wild animal? It's nothing to make light of. So you'd better watch your mouth. Whatever. All I know is I think it's great to get out of the house into the fresh air. I hate that cooped up feeling. Didn't seem to bother you the six months we were hibernating. Don't be snarky to your mother. And by the way, bears don't do snark. What do bears do? Shock and ah. Rawr. Not directed at your own mama. Where's your brain, baby bear? In my head. Which will soon be on an antlers couch because of all the damage you've done to it by giving me that stupid name. Baby Bear. I'm practically a teenager. I guess we just got carried away when you were born. You were so cute. A fuzzy wuzzy cutie woody little teddy. No. Make it stop. Well, you were cute, baby. And he still is, isn't he, Papa Bear? Yeah. But he's got an attitude. I can't help it if I don't want to go on this dumb walk. Well, you're going on it, so deal. A walk is good exercise. Besides, we had to let the porridge cool. I hate porridge. What did you say? I hate porridge. It's lumpy and yucky. All the other cubs get to eat cornflakes and honey nut Cheerios. If all the other cubs jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge, would you do that too? Probably. What's the Brooklyn Bridge? Oh, it's like a beaver dam, only higher, with more traffic. Oh, never mind all that. Let's just enjoy this beautiful morning. <sighs> okay, did it. Can we go home now? Let the bat talk and walk. Okay, okay, chillax. Oh my gosh. What? I don't think I checked the stove before we left. You did. I saw you. It was after you poured the porridge into the three bowls. The great big bowl, the medium-sized bowl, and the wee little bowl. After, and after you set the spoons beside them, the great big spoon, the medium spoon, and the wee little spoon, we decided to go out, and that's when you checked the stove. On the way out, I locked the door so you don't have to worry about that either. Oh good, and the windows. You locked the windows too? Nope, left them open for air. But I don't think there's anything to worry about, Mama Bear. Well, I sure hope not. It's just that I heard this thing in the news. Something about a burglar being active in this part of the woods. A burglar? Around here? Yes, they said it was a female, blonde. What species? She didn't quite catch that. Well, blonde couldn't be a bear. Unless it's a polar bear. Yeah, there's a whole lot of snow around here. With the snark. Maybe it's an albino squirrel, or maybe a skunk. They have those blonde streaks. Hey, maybe it's breaking in right now and smelling up the whole place. Or at least stealing the porridge. 
Then we could eat cornflakes or honey nut cheerios. Well, that's the strange thing. They said that this burglar doesn't actually steal anything from the places she breaks into. She just tests out different pieces of food and furniture and then criticizes them. Too hot, too cold, too big, too small, too hard, too soft, that sort of thing. You mean she just ma breaks in and makes catty remarks? Yep. Maybe she's a cat, a cat burglar. I think we should go back and check. Oh, there's no one breaking into our house. You just want to go back and goof off and raid the honey jars and do screens. But that's not happening, buddy. Okay, but don't. But when we go home and see a bobcat clot our way through your stamp collection, don't blame me. Bears don't collect stamps. Whatever. They don't even send letters. <sighs> yeah, like anyone does anymore. Look, I have just about had it with your sarcasm. I was only trying to make a point. Yes, but in that nasty know-it-all tone. You know nothing. Nothing. Cubs these days. It's just a phase, Papa Bear. He'll outgrow it. I don't know. Maybe if you didn't coddle him so much, buying that wee little chair and the wee little bed and the wee little this and the wee little that, he's no wonder he's grown up to be such a weenie. Oh, that's right. Blame the mother. It's always the mother's fault. Gee, I just love this quality family time. What did you say? I said, I knew this walk was a bad idea. Well, you know what I have to say about that? What? Bruno! Cool it with the shock and rah! He's only a cub. Mine! I kissed him first. You didn't kiss him, he kissed you. Proves my point. He's mine. No, soon after he kissed you, he kissed me, which proves my point. You weren't satisfactory enough, so we had to find someone better. Me, QED, he's mine. Dream on, sister, mine. <laughs> what part of mine don't you understand? Girl, girl. Hey, don't call me girl. I've been sleeping for a hundred years, so I'm thinking I'm a woman by now. Sorry, no offense. Uh, what's going on? They both want me. Oh my gosh, do you know who that is? That's Prince Charming! Well, actually, he's my brother. I'm not quite charming, I'm afraid, but I'm pleasant enough. They call me Prince Pleasant. How did you wind up in the sticks? Well, uh, I guess it all started when I woke up this morning and turned on CCNN, the Cat's Cottage News Network, and I heard there was a blonde female burglar uh, prowling around these parts. Oh yes, I heard that too. I figured I'd go looking around the neighborhood to see if I could catch her, do like a good deed giving back to the community kind of thing. So I'm walking along the woods when I see this girl, uh, woman. You can call me a girl. I'm not a century old. When I see this person lying like in this big kind of glass box thingy. I went and opened the box and I kissed her. As if by magic, she like got up. <sighs> and then we started to fall in love. I guess we were hitting it off pretty well. As we came to know each other, we came along this big castle, practically hidden by overgrown briars and brambles. Outside the tower castle, there was a big sign that said, Sleeping Princess, do not disturb. Oh, so, do not disturb. so Genius here had to go and disturb. Well, I figured I was on a roll and could perhaps help this poor girl, woman, wake up. So long story short, cut to the chase, I cut through the briars and brambles, access the tower, climbed to the top, and she was there sleeping. 
There was weirdly some kind of yarn spinning device. Anyways, cut to the chase, I kissed her. Ugh, and the rest is history. I could, I could really use some help getting out of this situation. I could really use a cup of coffee. Does anyone know if they've invented Starbucks yet? No, but I know how you can all solve your problem. Super. I'm afraid. I'm afraid we haven't met. I'm Bay. I'm the bear formerly known as Baby Bear. Aw, she's so cute. Don't listen to her. She's just trying to impress you with her motherhood potential. She's just about as maternal as a viper. Have you know that I've been taking care of seven little people? Let's hear what the bear said. The problem is simple. Two princesses plus one prince equals misery. But two princesses plus two princes equals happiness. So all you need to live happily ever after is one more prince. And I know where you can find one. You do? Where? Over there. Down through the woods. There's a pond, and in that pond, there's a whole lot of frogs. And frogs, well, everyone knows that when a princess kisses a frog, there's a good chance they'll turn into a prince. So I'd estimate you kiss, oh, maybe nine, ten frogs, you'll have yourselves another prince. Hmm, okay. But there's no way I am kissing any frogs. Let her do the work. Are you kidding me? That's disgusting. Why don't you just take turns? Good idea, Bear Formally Knows, Baby Bear. Let's do it. Wow, Baby Bear, that was... Excuse me, have you seen our housekeeper? You are... Happy. Sleepy. Sleepy. Sneezy. Gazoomsite. Bashful. We're dwarves. And about our housekeeper. She seems to have wandered off. Have you seen her? <laughs> Gazing type. What does your housekeeper look like? About a yay high. Lips as red as yours. Hair as black as ebony. Skin as white as snow. You've seen her? Yes. She went uh, that away with a prince and a woman who'd been sleeping for a hundred years. They went to look for frogs. Huh? It's complicated. Well, thanks for the info. Come on, guys. Let's go get her. Gazoon type. Wait a minute. Aren't there supposed to be seven of you? There's only five. Where are the other two? Grumpy and Doc stayed back at the cottage to guard it. We heard there's a burglar around who breaks into people's houses and makes cutting remarks about the furnishing. We don't need to know about anyone carping about our beds being too small or too messy. We know they're small, duh, because we're dwarves. Yeah, and we know they're messy. That's why we're looking for our house to make our beds. Hmm. Even if you find her, I don't think she's going to do you much good. I think... It- She's in the impression that she's going into a different kind of domestic arrangement. Why don't you make your own bed? It's too hard. The blanket, the bottom sheet, the top sheet. You know what, how hard it is for little guys like ourselves to line up the top sheet just so, then smooth it out, and then fold it over just so over the top of the blanket? Forget about it. It's a nightmare. But... You don't have to do all that that anymore. They've been saying for a few years now that a top sheet isn't really necessary. You can still be considered a good housekeeper if your bed doesn't have a top sheet. We certainly don't use one when we hibernate. You sure about this? Absolutely. It's the Middle Ages already. Why should we have to stick with the old ways? Well, this certainly puts a new light on things. Yeah, it's almost like the Enlightenment. Let's go home and make our own beds. Bye, happy, sleepy, dopey, sneezy, <gasps> gazoom type, bashful. bashful. Good luck with the beds. Oh, they must have kissed a lot of frogs by now. I wonder if they have another prince. Whoa. See them? They got another prince? 
No, it's not that. A trail of breadcrumbs. Don't eat them. They'll have dirt on them. Hmm. Quite a ride. You don't understand. This means trouble. I've got to do something. What are you talking about, baby? I know who left these crumbs. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel? What species is he? Human, and there's two of them small. More dwarves? No, cubs. I mean, little children. They're in terrible danger. Because? I met them in the woods, okay? They told me about their situation, which has now gotten more dire. Because they lost a little bread. No, listen, you know that cottage over in the next valley? Well, there is one, trust me. And in that cottage lived Hansel and Griddle with their father, an old woodcutter. Is everything in the next valley old? Dad, everything in this whole woods is old. It's a primeval forest, but this is serious. Okay, go on. These kids live with their father and stepmother, and she's a real big <gasps> boo. I thought you said this family was human. Now they're bees? No, they are. I mean, human. It's just that the stepmother, she's like a witch, and she hates Hansel and Gretel. Every day she makes them go out into the woods to get firewood, with only a crust of bread for nourishment. She's hoping they'll get lost and not find their way back. But these kids are smart. As they walk, they leave a trail of breadcrumbs so they'll be able to find their way back home. Huh? Oh, what's the problem? Just leave the crumbs and- The problem is, this is the fresh trail, left today. So that, so that means Hansel and Gretel are heading right in the direction of that witch's house. Huh? That would be in the direction of their own cottage. No, not the stepmother. She only seems like the witch. I mean the real witch. You do you know that that gingerbread extravaganza behind the pine covered mountain? You do know that gingerbread extravaganza behind the piney mountain, the one held together with gumdrops and marshmallows and peanut brittle with the gaudy candy cane fence? You people, I mean animals, have got to get out more. But we go on walks practically every day we have porridge. But you stay on the beaten track. I go into the actual woods. Anyway, this house behind the pine-covered mountain, it's like a McMansion on a sugar high. I've gone up to it to sniff the gingerbread, but no way I would eat one gumdrop worth of that thing, because I suspect it's a trap. A trap for young creatures that the witch wants to fatten up and then eat. And Hansel and Gretel are heading right toward it. I've got to go save them. How do you plan on doing that, baby bear? Shock and ah! Wow, oh, son. I was wrong. I thought you were naive, lazy, a smart aleck. But now I see I was mistaken. I mean, even though you love sweet things, you're savvy enough to not eat from that suspicious sugary house. I thought you were doing nothing but screens all day. But in... Reality, you've been exploring your environment, learning survival skills, and having actual face time with other youngsters. Plus the advice you gave the prince and the woman and to the dwarves too. It was very way willing to, to, to take on a witch to protect the innocent. That's courage. I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> You have a good heart and a good head on your shoulders. Although, do bears have shoulders? I don't know, but thanks, Dad. Catch you later. Gotta go. Hansel, girl, I was just on my way to rescue you. Oh, gee, thanks, Baby Bear, but she already did. Who already did? She did. Dad Zeus, you're the one they were talking about on CCNN. The blonde burglar. You're under arrest. I'm making a citizen's arrest. No, I meant a royal arrest. 
Hey, by the by, where's the other person? Oh, we decided not to do that whole frog thing. Yeah, when she and I got to the pond, we realized we aren't really at a place in our lives where marriage really makes sense. So I'm aiming for law school. They'll help me when I see that my malevolent fairy put me out for a hundred years. And I'm going to the yoga studio. Cool. Now can I arrest her? Oh, please don't. She saved our lives. Yes, just in time. Broken until that awful witch that the peanut butter and how peanut butter in her house was too hard. And that the marshmallows were too soft. In fact, nothing in her house was just right. The woman was so stung by criticism. It took her a moment to get over it. That's when we made our escape. Well, that's wonderful, children. But still, why would a young girl like you be breaking into people's homes and making catty remarks? Oh, I never meant anything by it. You see, my family, like many in, the, in these woods, have had a hard time making ends meet, so we decided to turn our house into a bed and breakfast. I was going around looking for inspiration, menu items, furniture, all of that sort of thing. I never meant anyone any harm. Uh, just wondering. This morning, we left our house a quarter to eight. Have you already broken into it? Don't know. What does your house look like? It's a large one bedroom, mid century modern. 15th century. Three of everything in three different sizes great big, medium, wee little. Oh my gosh, yes, that was the first house I hit. I am so sorry. Don't worry about it, really. Yes, but I broke the wee little chair. I am so, so, so... Really, don't worry. It was time. Indeed it was. And now it's time for our breakfast. I do believe the porridge is cool, cooled. Say, why don't you all come over for breakfast? Yes, I'm sure we can stretch the porridge. Plus, we've got some cornflakes, don't we, Mama Bear? We do, and you know, I think we have some Honey Nut Cheerios stored away. Oh boy, let's go. That sounds just right. Oh my goodness, I have to call Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Helen. What's the story? Morning glory. What's the tale? Nightingale. Tell me quick about Hugo and Kim. Hi, Margie. Hi, Alice. What's the story? Have you heard about Hugo and Kim? Did he really get pinned? Did she kiss him and cry? Did he put the pin on? Or was he too shy? Well, I heard they got pinned. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping they would. Uh, 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 he's gone. Going steady for Hello, 
old Mr. Hankel, this is Harvey Johnson. Can I speak to Penelope and Penelope? I just know I'm so uh, about the prom. I must call her right it's now. It's Saturday. I can't talk to you now. Who's that? You know? Hello, Mrs. Gar, finest charity home from school yet. Did they really get me? I think we can all agree that sometimes a mental health day just seems like a good idea. But sometimes in high school, it's actually medically necessary. Studies have some shown that the hormone cycle of the metal, uh, source from the metal, mitochondrial DNA of a male and male and female high school student support the dire needs for days off. Um, just make that up. Yeah, but is that a risk you want to take with your health? Um, no. That's what I thought. There are many reasons for the so-called mental health day. Stress at home. I just don't understand why your father insists on playing his country jazz rap fusions all day Saturday. I can't imagine how he can stand the sound of it! Stress at work. <laughs> First, you're going to want to dip the chicken in a fryer later. Then you're going to want to stand there and wait. Then you're going to want to take it out. Then you're going to want to put it in a box. Then all you're going right, to wanna... All right, all right. We get it. Sometimes we kids need a day off. Well, what about us teachers? I have grades and testing and evaluations and administrative meetings and professional development days and st statement and curriculums and report cards and due dates and staff meetings and planning books. And to top it all off, on Wednesday nights, I have choir practice at my church. Oh. Teachers need a day off too. You think so? Thank God. But, uh, that's a different play. Oh, sorry. Everyone, pull it together. Together, these fine people did not come here to listen to us bicker. They didn't. If they wanted to, they would have stayed home with our siblings. Good point. We're here to educate those skeptics out there. <laughs> Teachers, hey. Bosses. The principal. And everyone else that might doubt our desperate need for a sick day. Even when you were actually sick? So now, for your great theatrical pleasure, we, the students of Neverland Theater, proudly present 10 Reasons We Should Stay Home Sick Today! One of the greatest reasons to stay home sick from school is to avoid the dreaded teenage of teenage anxiety! The bus ride! Gotta find a seat now. Okay. Um, Bacon. 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 You can sit with me. I'd love a seat, buddy. No thanks. I'll I'll stand. Nonsense. That violates the safety rules. Come on, cop a squat, buddy. Oh, thanks. I think. 
gosh, this underwear my mom packed me is so tight. But I do love my Mickey Mouse, so. <laughs> is it okay if we just, you know, ride, sit in silence? Oh, I get it. Not much of a morning person, huh? Yeah. I think he's not much of a sitting next to a loser person. Oh, don't listen to them. I don't think you're a dork. They're talking about me. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. I just remembered my mom packed me tuna. Oh, hi. Hi, hey. I didn't know you rode this bus. Yeah, I just moved. Oh, that's cool. It's cool. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So, um, uh, now that we, uh, ride the same bus, um, maybe you'd want to, like, sit with me tomorrow? Yeah. Yum me! Yum! <laughs> that joke didn't even make sense. You. What's up, Mel? Uh, it's just, um, tonight, I think. Oh, God. Oh, it's making me car sick. I have to get off. Driver! Driver, pull over. Stop the bus. Well, there. We can't just stop the bus. She's in an emergency. Please. I think I'm going to be... Nothing like a good tuna salad sandwich with extra onions, anchovies, and a hint of capers. Nice going, tuna face. <laughs> it wasn't me. It doesn't matter, because now I've called you tuna face, and so will everyone else. Forever and ever. <laughs> Want some? I think I'm gonna be sick. You probably should have stayed home. Another reason to stay homesick is the dreaded humiliating moment everyone sees that you wish you could take back, but you can't, so thus you're doomed to be haunted by it in therapy for many years to come. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh! Ow! Oh! Why do they wax the floor so often? OMG! Oh, crap. Crap? You crapped your pants? No, 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 that's ridiculous. I didn't crap my pants. Everyone, come quick. Someone soiled their pants and now we need to come and point and laugh at them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's so gross. Oh my god. <laughs> Go back to preschool. <laughs> yeah. You're like my grandma, except not. <laughs> I'm hungry. You guys, I did not soil my pants. I fell in this puddle. I don't see a puddle. No. Well, not now. I absorbed it with my pants. Sure, if absorbed means crap. <laughs> <laughs> that, that doesn't have to. You just soiled your pants in front of everyone at school. You probably just should have Stay home. Stay home. Reason number three is the scariest. The awfulest, the truly terrifying, life-ruining, blood-curling horror that is... The surprise test! <laughs> Shh! Jeez, relax. Sorry. I'm trying to study for the test. Study? What for? The test today. Test? Today? No, not today. Oh, thank God. The test in like 60 seconds. What? All right, class, put everything under your desk, including your dignity. I had no idea we had a test today. He mass texted us last night. Since when do teachers text? I have an iPhone. Right, no, of course, sorry. I studied for two hours. I studied for four. 
I'm still studying behind my eyelids. I read the book twice. I read the book three times. I like pizza. You will have exactly 60 seconds to complete this 856 question test. The questions are multiple, true, false, fill in the essay. If you study, that should be no problem. Oh God. I also like tacos. Begin now. Wait. One more thing. If you fail this test, you will fail this class. Flunk out of high school and your life as you know it will be over. Begin. Time's up. Everyone gets an A, except you. I feel sick. This one's a bad one. I feel sick just thinking about it. Makes sense because it's for getting your lunch. Chips, chips. I love chips. Nom, nom, nom. Sigh. Chips, chips. Yummy, yummy chips. I said. Sigh. Dear chips, I love you so much. I wish I could marry you. No, that's just weird. Oh my god, stop. Sorry, got a little carried away there. Guess you did. Uh, wait, so where do we go from here? Is it too much to ask that we just start the scene? Right, right up. I mean, this is every time, man. I, I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's all right, just take it from your line. <clears throat> I'll do better, I will. It's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> hey there, you seem a little upset. Why the long face? Are Why? you, okay? I forgot my lunch. Oh no! And I'm so hungry. Oh, that is the worst. I know. And I didn't bring any cash to buy. Oh, woe is me! Hey, that was my lunch. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, woe is me! Oh, I, see, I would lend you some money, but I spent it all on a prom ticket. Okay, I spent it at the, at the getting cookies at the track bake sale. I guess I'll just starve then. Hey, I forgot my lunch. Got anything to spare? Uh, yeah, I guess. Hang on. It's a lucky day. I know. Uh, I have a yogurt in here. It's been in there for a few weeks, but yogurt's mold anyways, right? I think you're thinking of blue cheese. <gasps> you love blue cheese. <laughs> Sorry. It's all I got. Oh no, I think I'm gonna be sick. Class fatalities. Makes you wonder why you didn't just stay home sick. Since you're bound to end up in the hospital anyway. Exhibit A, submit it for your approval. Action. I love getting some exercise in the middle of an otherwise physically underwhelming day. Me too. I mean, I'm just so glad that this is a part of our everyday schedule here at our wonderful educational institute. Yeah, it's, it's great. <sighs> 10 miles, not bad. But, must have water. We gotta stretch first. <laughs> you okay there, bud? Feeling great. You know, I did get a hair winded there at the end. It must have been because of that hill we went up. Which we do. There were, there were so many. They, they all blur together. <laughs> You're so funny. I, I can't see my hands. Do you want to do another lap to warm down? You okay? Buddy, you sick? Reason number six. Getting robbed. All right, students. Time to audition for the spring recital solo. <gasps> Yippee! Yay. Hooray. What amazing enthusiasm. I love it and make my heart hit the high notes. <laughs> All right, who's first? All right, let's hear it. Please step forward and let your heart tell me through song what dreams are made of. <clears throat> Why are you on me? Why are you on my show? Ow! 
Got it, I've got it. A five, six, seven, eight. Lean on me. Oh, when you're not strong and you need a friend, I'll let you carry on. Wow, wow. I've been working on that one for quite a while. What a great example of how hard work can pay off. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, it's okay. If you work hard, someday maybe you will sound like that. Oh, goody. All right. This one's, this is some pretty steep competition, but is there anyone else who wants to throw the old hat in the ring? Oh, wow. Okay, well, here we go. Let's hear it. Remember, it's not what you sound like that matters. It's what it is like. What? Oh, you're such a kidder. You can do it. <clears throat> Lean on me when you're not strong. And I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I got a tickle in my throat at the end. Right. Um, well, um, this is a very hard decision, but I think we can all agree this angelic voice. Oh, oh my God, thank you. I am honored, honored and blessed. The best soloist we've had in years. What? Well, now, we must remember to be happy for other people's success. I'm sorry, but what? They were both terrible. Hey. hey! I'm sorry, but it's true. I was robbed. Well, now, that's a little unfair. Rejection hurts, but in this business? No, this is crazy. They sounded like a dying cat. That's a feelings too. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside until you can find joy in your being for the happiness and skills of your fellow singers. Is this because of the tickle in my throat at the end? Well... I barely even coughed! All the same, if you weren't feeling well, you probably should have... Stay sick! Ugh! It really is an important life lesson. Now, let's take it from the top. A five, six, seven, eight. Yay! 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 Oh, you're telling me. You know what makes me sick? What? Networking. Like the internet? No, social networking, which is like the internet in that it's invisible, but it's ruining the fabric of American families. Darn Zuckerberg! But even without the internet, social networking is a darn good reason to stay home. <coughs> oh shoot, sorry. Oh, no problem. Actually, you were the person I just wanted to see. Really? Me? Yeah, you. You know my name? Yeah, um, it's, um... Taylor. Uh, right, I know, <laughs> right. Wow, I mean, it's, it's just, you're so popular. I feel like you guys don't even know people like me are alive. <laughs> Nonsense, we know you're alive. 
anyway, um, a bunch of us are having this really cool party. I love parties. That's nice. So it's on Friday. I love Fridays. Cool. So it's at the park. I love parks. Street bowling alley. Oh. Well, bowling is cool too. So we were all wondering. Yes? If you wouldn't mind. Yes? Asking your friend Megan to join us. They're pretty cool, and since we know you hang out, we thought you wouldn't mind extending the invite. Oh. If it's not too much trouble. No, no trouble at all. Cool, great. I'll tell everyone. You do that. Hey, are you okay? You look a little... Thick? <laughs> Number eight, the school bathroom. Ugh. A field trip. Oh boy, I like to recycle. This is gonna be the best. Hello, class. I have an announcement about the trip today. We're all packed and ready to go on the nature hike. We got everything we need. Don't you worry. Ah, uh, yes. But unfortunately, due to a rather acute infestation of dung beetles at the nature reserve, we will have to reschedule for another day. What? But we've been planning this for months, and it's beautiful out. I know, but sadly, we will have to reschedule for another day. Sometime between now and never again. This is so unfair. Life is unfair, kids. The sooner you realize that, the more likely you are to thrive in the corporate environment that you are likely to work in upon graduating from a mid-tier college saddled with scads of student loans. Huh? On the plus side, we have arranged for a very enjoyable alternate activity for today. We will now study the life cycles and movement patterns of the rare kimikaze mold spores. Ew. And their second cousin, the imitachi maggot. I think I'm gonna be sick. <gasps> this reason is super depressing. You'll see. Just wait. It's so bad, I can't even give it a name. Let's just call it reason that shall not be named. What's with you? I'm just so happy it's the last day of school. Yes, that's always the best. It's just two months of doing nothing, hanging by the pool, getting some extra cash. No homework. No backpacks. No teachers. No tests. No recycling. Well, I think we still have to do that. Sure. Attention, attention, students of Neverland High School. Due to new curriculum mandates and state requirements and government regulations, and a bunch of small town bureaucrats like myself can't possibly fathom. I have some exciting news. I bet they're eliminating the summer school reading list. The school year has been extended by 10 weeks. Which, in case you haven't figured it out, it's the entire summer. I, for one, am looking at this as a positive change in our student environment. Your minds will be molded by 52 weeks out of the year. No more pesky ski trips, Disney vacations, or lawn walks on the beach. Just AP tests, SATs, and GPAs from here on out. I want to die. I wonder if they have summer in heaven. So push your swim trunks away, boogie boards, and dreams. And I will see you back here tomorrow for first period. Thank you all. Why? Why have you forsaken me? Pull it together. No! It's OK. We can make the best of it. Make the best?
just, um, I tripped. Haha, <laughs> cool. I can kind of be klutzy too. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you heard that school got extended? Yeah, what a bummer. Totally. But there's one upside, I guess. What is that? Uh, I get to see you at history class tomorrow. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, you're gonna be there, right? Yeah, of course, 100%. Absolutely. I, I thought you were calling in. Cool, see you there. Great. Awesome. Perfect. Gnarly. Nifty. Groovy. Rad. Super califragilistic. Oh, uh, stop. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Ready for today's lesson? Yes, Peter! Listen to your teacher. Repeat after me. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to school. school. Just to learn to be a parent. Just to learn to be a parent. And recite a silly rule. And recite a silly rule. If growing up means it would be beneath my dignity to climb a tree, I'll never grow up. Never grow up, never grow up. Not me. Not I. Not me. Not me. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. I don't want to wear a tie. I don't want to wear a tie. Or serious expression. Or serious expression. In the middle of July. In the middle of July. And if it means I must prepare to shoulder a burden to the world.
Aren't you getting a little tired of cat videos? No, what kind of horrible question is that? What? How could I ever get tired of seeing cats do incredible or stupid things? I mean, can you imagine what it must have been like 30 years ago? A cat would box. It would put on gloves and box like a human, and their owner would just sit there and be like, that's cool. I'll just keep this amazing boxing cat to myself. No need to share it with the rest of the world. And then like that, we would just never get to see it. I mean, I guess that's true. Micah. Yeah. Hold on one second. My mom's calling me. Minimize window. What are you doing? I thought you were finishing your Great Gatsby paper. No, I am. Well, it doesn't look like you're doing it. Mom, look, I have one paragraph left to write. That's like three sentences and then I'm done. It's not going to take me that long. Well, you have to leave for school in 20 minutes. Are you sure that's enough time? You promised me it would be done last night. Mom, I swear, I know exactly what I'm going to write. It's going to take me five minutes at most. Fine, but I want to see it before you leave for school. So turn off your internet browser and get back to work. What if I need to look up something? Well, then you can turn it on for as long as it takes you to look up that specific article. But otherwise, I want you to turn it off. Understood? Yeah, fine. I will. Minimize window. Hey, I gotta go. Mom's being really annoying about this whole Gatsby paper. All right, I'll see you later. Oh, hey, I'm thinking of making a meme out of Boxing Cat, so if you have any good meme headings, let me know. I'm thinking of, this cat likes to punch. Uh, I don't think that makes sense. Micah, it's the internet. It doesn't have to make sense, as long as it's loud and repetitive. Yeah, okay, I'll let you know if I think of anything. Close window. Turn off Wi-Fi. All right, three more sentences. Here we go. In the end, Jay Gatsby never did get what he wanted. His precious and elusive light. Shoot. What color was that light? Blue? The book's cover was blue. His precious and elusive blue light. No, it's not blue. Darn it. It's, it's, oh, uh, Wi-Fi on. Hi, welcome to Google, where we have everything you want forever. Would you like a search engine, email service, calendar, cloud computing, a terrible social media platform nobody uses. Uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia, wonderful, coming right up. Hi, welcome to Wikipedia. Uh, hey, you're back. Uh, did you finish your essay? No, not yet. I forgot what color the light was in The Great Gatsby. What light? The light, the light that haunts Jay Gatsby, Daisy's light. Uh, I don't remember there being a light, but I skipped through a lot of it. It was really long. It's 180 pages. Yeah, but anything over 140 characters, unless it has emojis, is kind of hard for me to follow these days. Well, look, there's definitely a light in The Great Gatsby, and I know Mr. Fishbein will knock off points if I get its color wrong, so... Oh, hey, have you seen The Great Gatsby? Open YouTube. New York, 1922. The temple of the city changed sharply. The buildings were higher, the parties were bigger. The moors were looser, and the liquor no, was cheaper. No, no more cat videos. I have to work. Close window. That cat just recited The Great Gatsby in perfect English. How are you not impressed by that? Taylor, I really have to finish this. Ugh, fine, just chat me again when you're done. Close window. Maximize Wikipedia. Hi, welcome to Wikipedia. Collaboratively edited, multilingual, free access, free content, and an encyclopedia. Wikipedia is a mostly reliable resource. Yeah, what color is the light in The Great Gatsby? Hmm, not found contents to The Great Gatsby. 1.1, historical context. 2, the summary. 2.1, major characters. 3, Themes. Never mind, this will take too long. Search for light. Gadsby spent many nights looking at the green light at the end of her dock, 
across the bay from his mansion. The color of the light is green due to Daisy's romantic attraction to Kermit the Frog of Muppets and Sesame Street fame. In chapter five, she insists that- Oh, green, okay, that's all I needed. Thanks, that's right. Wi-Fi off, wait, Kermit the Frog? What was that? Kermit the Frog wasn't in The Great Gatsby. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh, looks like you found the Whoopsipedia. We at Wikipedia believe that anyone should be allowed to edit and contribute to the articles on our website. Uh, However, this can be occasionally odd because it can lead to errors as we encourage people like this to participate. Well, I think Kermit the Frog should be in everything because I love the way his green belt feels on my skin. That's not weird. You're weird. Oh my god. You were the main source for my essay? Yeah, I I know. Uh, studies have shown that 90% of high school students use Wikipedia as a source for their research paper, which is quite frankly terrifying. Well, I'd better go to a different source to make sure the light is green. Close Wikipedia. Uh, new window. Hi, welcome back to Google. Still your best and easiest option for searching the web, watching a movie, and getting your picture taken without your permission. How could I Google your day? Uh, just a search engine, thanks. Wonderful. Search for anything and everything you could ever possibly want with no strings attached. Except that I am storing your search information and selling it to the marketing companies and the NSA. What? Nothing. What would you like to search for? I bet I know what you want before you do. Okay. The The Green Mile. The Grinch. The Graves of Wrath? Uh, No, just wait. The Great- The Greatest Show on Earth. The Great Depression. The Great Santani? Uh, no. The Great Gabby? The Great Gabby? The Great Gavelston, Texas. Uh, the Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby! First try, first try. Uh, no, wait, not just the Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby light color, question mark. The Great Gatsby light color? From schmoop.com. <clears throat> The green light isn't the first and only symbolic color in The Great Gatsby. Fitzgerald uses color like a preschooler who... Green. The light is green. Okay. Thank you. Close wind. Hey, can any interest in buying The Great Gatsby book plus movie for the low price of $3.99? Just click me and you'll have it. Hey, heard you're into green lights. At lights.com, we have a wide variety of lights for you to choose from, including green. Click me. Oh, for the... I just typed that. How did these hats find me so quickly? Uh, I don't know. It's probably just a coincidence. There are no coincidences. There is only Google. Except that we know everything and your life will become infinitely better. What? Nothing. Never mind. Hey, would you like to see a cat video? Pizza, 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 cat. Pizza, 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 cat. No. My mom was right. I'm never getting this done unless I turn off the internet. Wi-Fi off. Micah. What? What do you mean, what? Are you done with your report yet? You have to leave in like 12 minutes. I know, sorry. I couldn't remember what color the light was in The Great Gatsby, so I went online to Wikipedia, but then I wasn't sure if Wikipedia was accurate, so I went on Google, and then these ads gave it up. Well, just wrap it up. You've been late six times this month, and I'm sick of it. Shut off the Wi-Fi and get it done. In the end, Jay Gatsby never did get what he wanted. His precious and elusive green light. He believed that there could be a life better than he had at the time, and so he was always reaching, always looking. Hello? Micah, where'd you go? I told you I have to finish this paper. Well, get back online, now. Jenny and Mark just broke up. Oh God, not again. The last time they broke up, they were so dramatic about it. I know, so go online and like both of their statuses before they think you've taken a side. I have like one sentence left to write. Do I really have to do this now? 
Yes, you do. You know how Jenny and Mark are. They're sad, soulless people who only find personal worth and status likes. Do it now unless you want to get on their bad side. <sighs> Fine. Wi-Fi on. Go to Facebook. Hey, hey. You're on Facebook. Who do you want to look at? Because you can look at anyone. Ex-boyfriend, crushes, celebrities. Look at all their pictures. Look at what they're saying. Look at all, look at them all the time. You want to look at babies? Everyone posts pictures of their babies on here. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> You know, this is the reason I don't go on Facebook anymore. Yeah, but you haven't in your account, have you? No, you haven't. Because you want to look sometimes. Looky, looky. Okay, just show me Jenny Schumer's page, please. Yeah, Jenny, no problem. She posts all kinds of pictures. Oh, just give me her page, you creep. Facebook status. Thank you to all of my true friends who liked my new status. It gives me strength and a well of fortitude during this incredibly traumatic time for me. Just remember, you are beautiful in every single way. No words can bring you down. Christina Aguilera. Not only is she a singing contestant judge, but she's also a poet for my soul. Ah, <laughs> uh, gross, Jenny. Like... Yeah, what else do you want to look at? You don't even have to tell nobody you're looking at them. You can just look and be like, hmm, I like your picture. And then just lick your lips like this. Uh, no! Blah. You're so disgusting. Just show me Mark Nutter. Thank you. Status update. Dark days, guys. Dark days. The Cure once said, boys don't cry. Well, they do today. They so do today. I appreciate the support I've gotten from everyone so much. You'll never truly know how much your words have meant to me. God, you guys are the worst. Like... And... Message from Jenny. Hey, Micah, I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciated your like. You have no idea what it's been like these past few hours. Oh, come on. To Jenny, no problem. I'm sure you'll get through it, but I know it must be tough. Message from Mark. No! Hey, um, you have no idea how much I appreciated that like. My heart has literally been in pieces this morning. <sighs> to Mark. Well, I hope that's not literally true, as I think you'd be dead. But I get what you mean. Hang in there. You're a great guy. OMG, you have no idea. It's literally been like the worst thing that's happened to me. Do either of you know what literally means? Uh, to Jenny. Wow, it must be really bad then. Hang in there, you'll get through it. That's some really solid advice. Literally, thank you so much. Hey, if you're not doing anything tomorrow, a bunch of us are hanging out at my pool. Nothing too crazy. Just a solid support group to help me get through this incredibly difficult time. Hey, Micah, a bunch of us are going to the ice rink tomorrow kind of as a pick-me-up for the horrible place I'm literally in right now. No. Stop. Just a few really good friends. Just like five or six people. Don't worry if you can't skate, neither can I. It would, it would literally, literally mean so, mean so much, much if you would if come. If you would come. Uh, to Mark and Jenny, sorry, I'm literally grounded, but hopefully we'll hang soon. Close window, close window. And close out face. Wait, wait. You can't leave. Look at all the links to the to articles you could read. 
Look at all the videos and pictures and birthdays people are having. I can't. I'm gonna be late for school. Taylor sent you an invite, and you know Taylor gets mad when you don't respond to his invite. Fine, show me the invite. Hey, Taylor just invited you to play Not Grandma Off Her Chair, pig version. What? What is that? Sounds like a game. It sounds like a really fun game. A lot of people are playing it right now. No, I can't. Close window, turn off Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi on. G Chat Taylor. Hey, what's up? What is this? Why did you invite me to play not grandma off her chair? Because I'm an amazing friend who wants you to play the best game ever. Here, I'll send you the link. Oh, come on. This can't be a real game. Just play it for like two minutes. I mean, it's stupid, but also weirdly beautiful. That's, that can't be true. Just don't knock it till you tried it. Fine. Click on link. Knock Grandma off her chair. Are you ready? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Nice try. But why don't you go play for the Brooklyn Dodgers, you new alarm? Wow. This grandma's a real jerk. Here, take this. Oh no! Grandma got some pig on her face! <laughs> this is ridiculous! Just wait until level 2 when they give you the pig bomb! What? Seriously, use the pig bomb at least once! It's hilarious! Level 2! Ready for more, Grandma? Go ahead, you little whippersnapper! I'm trying to make the sure that can survive you! We'll see about that. Take that! I have 87 years of experience. What do you have? Pig Bomb now available. Would you care to use it? Heck yeah! Pig Bomb's away! Ooh! Grandma got blown up. Pig style! Take that, Grandma! Micah! What? Mom, Wi-Fi off. That's it. Go to school right now. But I haven't finished my report. And from the looks of it, you're never going to. Unless your report somehow involves, what, hitting a defenseless grandmother with pigs? It's just a game. It's offensive. Think how Nana Burke would feel if you threw a pig at her. Mom, this is obviously not the same. It would kill her. A pig at that velocity would kill Nana. Mom, look, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I went online because Taylor called me because there was this whole breakup drama which honestly would have affected my school project had I not, like, you know, well, like, worked I don't want to hear any more excuses. Get off your computer and go to school. Oh. Mom, I have five minutes before I have to leave, okay? I have one, one sentence left to write. Do you really want me to not turn this paper in? A paper that's worth 20% of my grade just because you want to prove a point? Five minutes. Then I want you out of the house and on your way. No more excuses. Great. Thank you. I promise this will take me like a minute. Okay. Where was I? In the end, you guys... Oh! Each time he would reach, he pulled further and further from reality until his own life was taken from him. Done! <laughs> Mom, I'm done! Done! <sighs> Wi-Fi on. G-Chat, Taylor. Hey, how far did you get in Grandma? Did you get to the level where she turns into a robot? No, look. I don't have a lot of time. The Great Gatsby essay. How many quotes are we supposed to use? Uh, four. Why? <sighs> Darn it. I have three. Oh, just tack one onto the end. Mr. Fishbine loves it when you end the essay with a quote. But which one? I don't have time to look through the whole novel and... Ask Fiona. She's obsessed with The Great Gatsby. Practically has it memorized. She'll give you something good that fits with your theme. 
Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Close window. Uh, G chat Fiona. Hey Fiona. Hey Micah. What's up? Look, I'm in a bind and I hear you're a huge Great Gatsby fan. Oh yeah. I've literally memorized The Great Gatsby. And unlike Jenny and Mark, I know what literally means. Hey, wanna hear me recite the whole book? In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father uh, no, gave me- No, Fiona, uh, I'm really impressed. You have the whole book memorized. I just don't have the time, y you know. Uh, all I need is a quote that will end my essay about the unrealistic desire of the American dream. I can give you a quote. Wow, that's great. You'd really be helping me out. You have no idea. No problem. I'm happy to help out any of my friends. I'm very loyal to all of my friends. Oh, great. So am I. Are you? Are you really, Micah? Yes. Because my loyal and best friend, Jenny, said that you were ta taking Mark's side in their devastating breakup. I'm not taking anyone's side. I'm just trying to be friends with both Jenny and Mark, okay? Is that not allowed? Well, Jenny just feels like you're taking his side. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, just, what can I do to prove to Jenny that I'm still her friend? Beats headphones, the earphone ones. What? She needs headphones? She doesn't need them, but it would be nice to have a spare that just lives in her gym bag. Ugh, fine. I'll buy her Beats earbud headphones. Just give me a minute. Amazon. Hey, welcome to Amazon. What can I get you? I heard you're into the Great Gatsby. We have Great Gatsby in books, CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. Okay, I just need one thing. Wait, we also have Great Gatsby in appliances, automotives, clothing and jewelry in men's, women's, babies, girls, boys. Look at this Daisy Bouchon onesie. I don't need Great Gatsby anything, okay? Who even told you I was reading that book? Well, it definitely wasn't me. I'm just a multi-purpose search engine. Why would I tell anyone anything about what you do online? Hey, I heard you're into Beats headphones. Oh, that's so creepy. Google, get back here. Hey, come on. I know it's invasive, but it's easy. Isn't it easy? I mean, look at all these Beats headphones we have on sale this week and every week. In fact, everything's on sale all the time. And if you think something's overpriced, we'll pressure manufacturers into bankruptcy, okay? We'll do that for you. Just, just please don't leave it until you've bought more stuff. Fine, whatever. I'll take a pair of headphones. Oh, fantastic. And you're sure there's nothing else you want to purchase? I mean, we have a streaming video service, and we also have a cloud computing service, and a phone that everyone kind of hates. And, uh, uh. Look, it's, I just need to. Wait, we're developing stuff all the time here at Amazon. Like delivery drones and TV shows and, uh, this. Look at this cutting edge state-of-the-art yo-yo designed by, um, Amazon Studios. It can do tricks all, its, all on its own. Look. Darn it. Uh, look, it'll work. Eventually. I think. Um, just in the meantime, take a Kendall Selects book. I know it's just kind of creepy fan fiction, but it's free with Amazon Prime. No, I have to go. Close window. Gchat Fiona. Okay. Headphones ordered. They should arrive from Amazon in two days. Great! I'm sure Jenny will really appreciate it, how supportive of a friend you're being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just really pressed for time. So if you have that quote... Right. So you said your theme is the elusiveness of the American dream. Yeah, more or less. No amount of fire or freshness can challenge what a man will store up in his ghostly heart. Nick Carraway. Wow, that's good. I know. I really love The Great Gatsby. Anytime you want me to recite a chapter by heart for you, I will.
I don't think I ever will, but that's good to know. <laughs> Thanks, Fiona. Close window. <sighs> okay. Uh, cut and paste, quote, and print. Okay, Mom, I finished it for real this time. And I still have a minute and 45 left before I leave. Mom, are you still home? Whatever. Wi-Fi off. Computer shut down. Uh, Wi-Fi off. Wi-Fi off. Hey there. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, no, I'm just trying to shut down my computer. But I guess it doesn't really matter. It'll just go to sleep in a few minutes anyway. Yeah, don't worry about it. Getting offline is such a stupid thing to do anyways, right? Hey, would you mind taking a quick minute to look at some of your favorite sites? There's 20 new articles you haven't read yet. News updates, sports scores, gossip. No, I really have to go. I only have, like, a minute in, like, you know? Uh, how about a movie? Or a TV show? I know you've been binge-watching that one about those sexy 20-somethings in a dystopian prison on the moon. The next episode's really good. Huge twist. Ugh, come on. I love Moon Jail. Just tell me, are Cora and Michael finally getting back together? They've been milking it all season. Uh... I don't know. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, how about these clickbait articles? I know everybody likes celebrities and slideshows, right? Right? Hey, want to see what these super sexy celebs look like without, without makeup? Spoiler alert, they're horrible. Did you know that some of your favorite celebs have extra toes? Click here and find out which ones. Click here to see nine celebrities that weirdly resemble mass murdering dictators. Uh, no, I always want to click on these, and every time I do, I feel like a creep. Oh, I was right. I'm just gonna turn off my computer and go to school. I've been online too much this morning, so I guess I'll just do it manually. What? What's happening? Why can't I move my arms? Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe because after hours of mindlessly looking at your computer screen, I found a way to burrow into your synapses and control your central nervous system. What? N nothing, nothing, nothing. Look, let's just think about this reasonably. I mean, do you really want to leave all this and go to school? Really? 45 minute periods, all just to listen to one person talk about one subject. You're not a caveman, Micah. Why do all that when you can just do it online and watch a movie and go shopping and watch a cat video all at the same time? There are over 100,000 cat videos on YouTube and growing. You've only watched 57. You really need to catch up. Wasn't it frustrating when you couldn't beat me on level two after level one was so easy? Give it a few more tries. I bet you'll move on. And I'm not saying don't learn. Just do it online. In the comforts of your own home. In a chair. In a comfortable, depleting your bone density chair. Aren't you no. tired of standing? Don't your bones hurt? No. I like standing. I like taking walks and talking to actual people. I like being a person. Line, you have limitless possibilities. There's no gravity, no curfews, no rules. And all you would have to do is give up a few tiny, insignificant personal freedoms that you don't even care about anyways. So why don't you just sit on your butt and watch some cats and everything will be fine. Yes, stay. Watch some cat like that video.
Oh, I can't. I want to run. I want to see the sun. That's it. That's it. It will all be over soon. No, it won't. No, I'm not going to be a slave to you. I'm going to stop going online and, and I'm going to spend more time outside. Oh. Oh, sure you will. Until you get bored? And then what? You're just gonna stay bored? No! You're gonna go check your email or your Facebook page and your Vine or whatever that stupid thing is trending right now! Your ADHD won't let you just stay outside, you idiot! Websites! <laughs> go get Micah's brain. No! Taylor. What are you doing here? You weren't answering your phone, so I figured the internet was fighting for control of your brain. What? How could you know that? They tried to do the same thing to me last week, but I fought them off. What? They did? Then why are you still going online? What do you expect me to do, just not use the internet? Come on, Micah. I'm not Amish. It's all about setting limits. Four to six hours a day, max. More than that, and Google starts to change the way your brain works. All right. Well, how do we get out of this? Here, use these pigs like boxing, boxing gloves, and let's fight them off. We're supposed to fight them with cartoon pigs? What sense does that make? It's the internet, Micah. It doesn't have to make sense, as long as it's loud and repetitive. Now use these pigs as boxing gloves, and let's kick some ass. All right, okay, uh, uh, take that. Ooh, 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 look out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good job. On your left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, good luck. <laughs> oh, we got him. <laughs> Micah. Mom, hey. I was Taylor, just about to... what are you doing here? Uh, I just thought that Micah needed help with uh, his paper, and so I came by and- Well, like... time's up. Whether you're finished or not, it's time for- No, I'm finished. I'm finished. Mom, thanks. You were right. I need to put some time limits on the internet. Well, let's talk about it later tonight. I'm glad you're being open-minded. See you later, Mrs. Carson. Bye, Mom. Oh, I have soccer after school, but I won't be home too late. Okay. Okay, sweetie. Well, good luck on your algebra test. Love you. Love. Well, you were right. Micah has more power than I gave him credit for. No matter. He'll come around. They all do eventually. Would you like to look at some sweaters on Pinterest? Oh god, yes. Killed it and we know it. Don't need that gold to show it, cause we know it inside. Hey girl, we got the people screaming, just like we were dreaming. I know I'm satisfied. Hey girl, look how far we've come now. Before you couldn't stand me, now you think I'm alright, right? Right. Hey girl, I thought you were a spoiled rich, up to a little short rich. Now I think you're just short. And in 20 years, it's not a big old trophy that I'll miss. But I'll always smile when I remember this. Pokemon 
like Venus and Serena. Left, other left. Yeah, your left. Me? 
Look to your left the other way, Bella. Yeah. Annabelle on the other way. Wait, oh, this or that way. No, Hannah the other way. <laughs> Am I oh the my right god, way? I'm hearing! <laughs> Bella, your other you're other way. Right. <laughs> Brooks, your other way. There you go. Okay, so let's do that again. So look back, look back to the screen. Knock it off! She's here! Look! No, nope. Emiko and Reese, you're looking the wrong way. To your left. To your left. Oh, yeah. the other way. Right. It's like opposite stuff for me. It's confusing. I know. I jam on my shirt. Okay. Oh, you're the left. Okay. <laughs> jam on my shirt. All alone in your room, as you're facing your doom. has started reeking quiet maggots while I'm speaking. <sighs> reeking with a most disturbing scent. <laughs> Only the finest nostrils smell it, but I know it oh too well. It is the odor of rebellion. It's the bouquet of dissent. And you can bet your britches this headmistress finds this foul odiferousness wholly olfactorially insulting. And so, to stop the stenches spread, I find a session of fizz ed, sorts the merely rank from the revolting. The smell of rebellion comes out in the sweat, and Fizzed will get you sweating, and it won't be long before I smell the pong of aiding and abetting. A bit of Fizzed will tell us who has a head full of rebellious thoughts. Hold, hold! Just like a rotten egg floats to the top of a bucket of water. The smell of rebellion, the stench of revolt, the reek of insubordination, a whiff of resistance, the pong of dissent, the punk of a mutiny in action. Before a weed becomes too big and greedy, you really need to nip it in the bud position too. Before the worm starts to turn, you must scrape off the dirt and rip it from the mud. Mm, a whiff of insurgence, the stench of uh, intent, the reek of prepubescent protest. The funk of defiance, the odor of coup, the waft of anarchy in progress. Once we've exercised these demons, they shall be too pooped for skimming. Some double time discipline shall stop the rot from setting in. All right, let's step it up, double time. <laughs> hmm. One, two, three, four. Discipline, discipline for children who aren't listening, for midgets who are fidgeting or whispering. In history, they're chattering and chittering. The nattering and twittering is tempered with a smattering of discipline. We must begin insisting on rigidity and discipline, persistently and resisting this anarchistic misgiving. These minutes you are frittering on pandering and pitying, while little ends like this, they just need discipline. The simpering and the whimpering, the dribbling and the spiddling, the mess, I need a tissue, that's an issue we can fix. There's no mystery to mastering the art of classroom mistressing. It's discipline, discipline, discipline! The smell of rebellion, the stench of revolt, the reek of creep, you best importing. With the resistance, a pong of dissent, the pong of moral fiber of thing. Now imagine a world with no children. Oh. Close your eyes and just dream. Imagine. Come on, try it. The peace and the quiet, a burbling stream. Now imagine a woods with a cottage, and inside that cottage we find a dwarf called Zeke, 
a carnival freak who can fold paper hats with his mind. And he says, don't let them steal your horses. No, don't let them take them away. If you find your way through, they'll be waiting for you, singing, nay, nay. <laughs> and they are just like I said, the stinking maggot rears his head. Even the squittiest, piteous mess can harbor seeds of stinkiness. Have you ever seen anything more repellent? Have you ever smelled anything worse than that smell of rebellion? The stench of revolt, the reek of it. The pong of descent ah! And I will not stop till you are squashed Till this rebellion is squashed Till glorious sweaty discipline has washed The sickening stench Something more than long Rivers belong where they can ramble Eagles belong where they can fly I've got to be where my spirit can run free Gotta fly my corner of the sky Settle for something small But I won't rest Until I know I'll have it all So don't ask where I'm going Just listen when I'm gone Far away you'll hear me singing Softly to the dawn Rivers belong where they can ramble Eagles belong where they can fly
It's not easy to know I'm not anything like I used to be Although it's true I was never attention sweet center But I still remember that girl She's imperfect, but she tried She is good she lies she is hard on herself she is broken and won't ask for help she is messy but she's kind she is lonely most of the time she is all of this mixed up you to sell me on reasons to want you I need you to search for the proof that I should you have to convince me you have to be scared you're not enough cause what we got going is good I don't need more reminders of has been broken I need you to fix what I'd rather forget Clear the slate and start over Try to quiet the noises in your head <laughs> Cause we can't compete with all that So what if it's us What if it's us I 
never thought there'd be someone like you who would want me. So I give you 10,000 reasons to not let me go. But if you really see me, if you like me for me and nothing else, that's all that I've wanted for longer than you could possibly know. So it can be us, it can be us, and only us. And what came before won't count anymore or matter. We can try that. It's not so impossible. Nobody else but the two of us here. Cause you're saying it's possible. We can just watch the world disappear. Till you're the only one. I still know how to sleep. It's just you and me. It'll be us and only us And what came before won't count anymore We can try that You and me That's all that we needed to be And the rest of the world falls away And the rest of the world falls away My aunt used to live in Paris. I remember she used to come home and she would tell us these stories about being abroad and I remember she told us that she jumped into the river once, barefoot. She smiled, left without looking, and tumbled into the sand. The water was freezing. She spent a month sneezing, but said she would do it again. Here's to 